In this video, we're going to cover pre-made buttons and custom-made buttons such as these ones here. And so let's start right away with pre-made buttons. We're going to click on insert and then I'm going to click on pages and let's start with a landing page. So now we have pre-made buttons here. But that's only the start of these tutorials. So let me show you how we can add a hover effect, change the colors, and so on. So this is your first button here, pre-made buttons. We're going to right click on here on the layer button and then create a component. Let's say button. I'm going to switch here to light mode so we can have like better contrast. Okay, so we already have also the shadows here pre-made. And uh, if we want to hover, just changing the color per se, then we're going to click on here, hover, and then change the fill to like this. And then if we go back to preview, now we have a hover effect. That's a real quick hover animation with a pre-made buttons. This is only to show you how to create buttons. I'm not going to touch up on hover animation. That will be a video in itself. That could be like a 20 minute tutorial. Now let's move on to pre-made. Uh, I mean, <laughs> let's move on to custom made buttons that you can create on your own. I'm just going to create a new page here. And then I'm going to start by clicking on T for, for text. And then, then this is my second button. All right. Then we're going to click right click, create, I mean, add stack. I'll do some mistakes huh? along the way. I'm, I'm not, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not immune to mistakes. And here paddings, we can add 12 paddings to start off just to have the visual. And then let's give it a color here. Let's start with perhaps yellow, uh, yellow, pink. I like pink. I'm just going to zoom in. Let's say, you know what we want? We want a gradient and then we're going to give it, we have the paddings 12. That's good. Then we're going to add a radius 12 as well. And then we're going to add a shadow. Shadow will be this color here. Clean, spread just a little bit. Four, that's good. No one blur on so. Ten, all right. That sounds fantastic. And then you can change this color by for white, I guess. Yeah, seems better here. Button two. Okay, now we can create another component for this button. I click here. This is our custom button. And then we can create here. I'm going to call it primary. Click on hover. And what I'm going to do is just change the direction. And now if we preview, we have a subtle hover effect that invert the gradient. Also, we can create a variant and we can say outlined. And what we're going to do with this one is add a border. The border is going to be this color here. Here. And then this one here, I'm going to put it to zero. Zero as well. Border. Let me can see if I can give it 0 0.75. Yeah, that's possible. All right. The shadow, I'm going to. Like this, 
Blur spread. Reduce it. Minus two. And change the color of this one to black. And this is the outline version. And then we're going to create a hover for this one as well. Go to here and then just give it back the opacity. I'm going to give it back also this color. And then if we want to preview it, we can just copy, pass another one, this one. Put a layout in the center so we can just admire our beauty. All right, so the second one is here. And click on outline. And then if we preview, we have the second version of the button. Here, the first one, the outline. And <laughs> this is it. I'm going to create another video going over so many <laughs> hover options for the buttons and many other ways to create buttons like this is just the tip of the iceberg and there's so much to cover so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos